Here with Slipper Rock head coach Tony Longo, a tough 76-73 defeat to number two Gannon. If you asked anybody coming in, the expectation probably wasn't that the game would be a, a battle all the way down to the last shot attempt. Outstanding effort from your ladies tonight. Talk about your overall thoughts on the game. Um, well, I think you just said it. Um, overall effort, I, I know that that was definitely the most effort for 40 minutes that we've seen in four years since I've been here, that's for sure. And that means that we're building and climbing. Um, definitely the best execution also for 40 minutes that we've had to this point. Yeah, you got a huge performance tonight from DeAsia Chambers. She finished with 30 points, a career high tonight, and eight rebounds to go along with it. You got some other solid performances all around, but DeAsia was really the go-to in the second half that brought you back into the game. Talk about her performance. You know what, we, we have some different people that can step up and that have started to show that they can step out up to the season, so when the other team tries to focus on one, um, somebody's been, been able to you know kind of step up and into this limelight. And She had a great, uh, really, game last weekend, and I just think she can carried it over into tonight huge. She was very focused, obviously attacking and just being ultra aggressive on the offensive end and really taking care of her assignments on the defensive end too and thus resulting in the huge numbers. Now you opened the game with the first six points and you tied the game 20-20 midway through the first half and Gannon went on a little bit of a run there 11-0 to open the game up at halftime but you battled back at the second half. Talk about the performance at the start of the second half, down double figures to come back the way that you did and make it a three point game. Well heading into halftime we, we were uh, mostly uh, talking about our turnovers. We had 15 the first half, we just knew that that was way too many to be, to be able to be successful in the game in the long term so um, that was one thing we talked about and we certainly came out and executed a lot better with that part therefore getting ourselves a lot more shots rather than just turning it over. Um, and we also talked about rebounding. Um, we were down on the boards first half, second half we were able to battle back and we won that area by two and I think those things really helped us cut the lead and, you know, down the stretch. And one of the big deciding factors in the game was that until very late in the second half, you'd only made four trips to the free throw line the entire time. At one point in time, Gannon had made 11 free throws. Slipper Rock had only taken two trips to the free throw line. What can you do to get to the free throw line more? I mean, you had you scored more than 45 points in the paint tonight and just couldn't get to the free throw line. Well, I tell you what, I, I'm going to give Gannon some credit. Um, they are just excellent with rotations and help side defense, and we did talk about that a lot. Um, so, therefore, on our penetrations, we were talking about, uh, you know, really – maintaining our body control, make sure we don't try to run through people. Because sometimes when you can't get all the way to the hoop, you know, you got to stop and pop up for that jumper. And, and I thought we did a good job. We, we shot a decent percentage. Um, however, you're not going to get to the free throw line quite as much, and that was the result of the game. Now, moving ahead now, obviously this is a tough loss to swallow, but maybe a huge confidence boost for the team. Number two team in the country, went to the Elite Eight last year, hosting the Elite Eight this year. That, that team came in with a lot riding on their shoulders, and, and you battled them harder than anybody has yet this year. Where's the confidence? of the team after tonight? Uh, we, we really just are uh, pleased with where we've come. We've taken a couple big steps here in the last week or so and you know I think we're gonna I know we're gonna be ready to go come Saturday and uh, you know it really doesn't matter who the opponent is to be honest with you we prepare very similarly and obviously it's you know different for personnel but as far as our focus and preparation we're gonna be ready to go on Saturday. Great congratulations coach. Thank you very much.